Welcome back guys to another video here on the YouTube channel. Um, today is an interesting day. Me and Jonathan, we're packed up. We literally have all of our clothes in the car. Uh, we have the truck and trailer ready. We are ready to bid on this car to win. And typically when we bid on a car to win, we get screwed. Yeah. <laughs> But this is IAA and we do get a lot of our good deals on IAA, so I'm super happy about that. We do have a Porsche Cayman Coupe right over here that was actually sold on Bring a Trailer uh, two years ago. It was such in good condition. It is a base, 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 but I guess the point is of this YouTube channel, like that we started with BMWs, we get a super base BMW and then we make it better than anything you guys have ever seen before. Kind of like with the 435, made it absolutely insane. I kind of want to do the same thing with the Porsche. We were looking at GTSs, we were looking at GT4s, but I was like, you know what? You know, if you buy a cool car, it's just a cool car, it's done. But if you buy something that has a vision, that's even better. So, anywho, we're looking at this Cayman. It's located in LA. The Cayman uh, S. Mention that. Cayman, Cayman S. S, yeah. This is that's the six cylinder model. I didn't want the newer one because they came with the four banger. And it just, it just, they look good. They look good. But, uh, four banger, bro. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't do it. Especially with this kind of money. <laughs> so, that being said, we are playing a six cylinder uh, 981 Cayman S. And uh, if we get this bad boy, guys, the potential, the amount of mods we're about to do this bad boy, it's gonna be insane. So that being said, we're at lot 89 right now. Uh, we are watching the auction floor. We're just waiting for it to hit. And then in about, I think this is 94, right? Yeah, so 94, yeah. four this cars away. Four, four minutes. We are bidding with the heart, not not the wallet. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, guys, we need to win this because we and Jonathan are packed. We're packed and ready we to go. We talked to our wives. <laughs> We are heading out to LA tonight, uh, so we're packed and ready to go. We just need to win this car so we can uh, head out of here. So it's coming up here shortly. We'll see so. you guys in a minute. Oh, oh my lord! lord. I'm someone threw a mega bit on this. All right, fourteen thousand. Oof! It's All going right. up. It's going high. up pretty quick. Uh, man, bro. Stop, man! <laughs> please, you're literally the only reason I'm paying more. Uh, Come on. Just let me have it. Let me, please, please, just. <laughs> Find yourself a different oh, Porsche. Right. <laughs> this guy wants this car just as bad. Okay, so the reserve is off. So if we actually win it, I think the reserve just came off. So whatever we win it for is ours. I'm hoping we don't go too much over 20 right now. So I literally just bit $300 more than him right there at that one single bid. So hopefully. Stop. The max you will oh. to pay out. Do you want to keep going? Yeah, I'll keep going. We have a journey. I want to get this car. Please stop, bro. Oh, no God. way, bro. It's still a good deal. It's still a good deal. Realistically, anything under 20 is a big deal. Hmm. There you go. 20,000. Yes, that's, that's a that's, good deal, bro. That's a good <laughs> I'm actually shaking right now. <laughs> so I told Jonathan, bro, I'm, I, I want to get it for 20. Yeah. And the other guy wanted to get it for 20. I knew he wanted it's it. It's a Cayman S, bro. Clean title, they're going for like 55K. Now the car is clapped. Not clapped, clapped. It's in the front. Mostly. It's in the front. I don't think there's any frame damage. I think it's just purely cosmetic. Um, I definitely think it's highly fixable. The dash airboard, the airbag is deployed, but that just means that we can upgrade the dash to maybe the GT4 dash or something crazy like that. Crazy. So every damage part on this car, I plan to upgrade it. So the fenders, the headlights, the bumper, everything. Every, oh man, I'm sorry, bro. It's gonna look so good, dude. So anyways, we got the car. Let's go. We got our stuff packed up. Yep. We ready, ready to go to LA? Essentially, I guess. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Alrighty. Got two phones. <laughs> got the business phone, got my phone. Can't forget about you guys. So we'll take y'all with us. All right. Ready to go? Yes, sir. <laughs> Off to North Hollywood, bro. I mean, we're closing business today. We don't normally do this on a weekday, but I mean, a day you get a Porsche is a day you can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, bro, we're ready. We do have a little more business stuff to knock out. We have a car actually in the back of our trailer that we need to go ahead and junk. So we're gonna junk that. And then we got our tire inflator. We got a jack. We got a truck spare wheel. We got a trailer spare wheel. Six hours, here we come. <laughs> oh my God. Hey guys, so we're finally here at IA. We did spend the night over here. I think, what do we spend? Like at Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita. So we spent the night there. Finally made it here in the morning. We got the IA vest. We are officially here in the back. Check it out, they're exotic cars. Uh, not that I can afford these just yet, but you never know one day. Uh, these bad boys, uh, what is this, bro? This is an SF90 Ferrari. I've never seen one of these in person. There's not really much to see in the front end, but uh, as you guys can see, I mean, honestly, the frame rolls are all intact. I'll show you guys the back. This is definitely fixable. If this ain't the Batmobile, <laughs> then what is? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> that looks insane. 
So that was super crazy to see. I wanted to go ahead and check out what kind of cars he had in the inventory, and that did not disappoint. They have a bunch of high-end cars, a bunch of regular cars, and a bunch of high-end cars here at IEA that is offered at a fraction of a price of what a clean title would go for. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys the Porsche that we ended up getting. Retail is $55,000, $56,000. We ended up picking up for $20,000. And you can find a lot of nice gems like these cars right over here. I have one back there that I know you guys are gonna absolutely love. You guys have been telling me to get this car for a long time. Um, it just costs more than everything I have, so. I'll show you guys that in a minute. It's, it's an older car, so I know you guys, you guys probably see in the background, huh? Can they see it from no, this angle? Huh? Just a little bit. Anywho, we got a beautiful Urus right over here. I do want to check out the interior on one of these. Um, definitely one of those cars that you want to get eventually. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous car, just more than a Huracan. So, you know, uh, big dreams come with small beginnings. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> one day, you never know, man, you never know. Yeah, I got the Porsche Taycan. Taycan just chilling right here. I wish we could access the car, but I don't want to pull off that uh, yeah. tape because typically when there's tape on a car, uh, don't peel it off just because the water and stuff like that gets inside the car. You don't want them getting damaged and whatnot. You know what's crazy is I've actually never stepped up super close to these cars before. Really? So I appreciate them for uh, letting us come back here. Oh, bro, this one has the gated manual. Does it really? <laughs> you know what, guys? Before I show you guys the rest, let's go ahead and just show you guys some beer, all these bad boys. My lord, bro, look at that interior. That is actually phenomenal. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, dang. I didn't know a Tycon looked that good in the interior. <laughs> and are you telling me no maintenance? No it's gas? Full electric? Bro, these That's electric cars do be looking tempted. <laughs> Uh, I know a lot of you guys, BMW viewers, for over all the years. We've got a lot of M3s on this YouTube channel, but I never afforded the oldest one and slash the most expensive one, which is kind of crazy they to say. They are really expensive. The E30 M3 manual transmission coupe. I don't think they ever came in a convertible no, M3s, right? They so did back not. in the day, they knew how to do it properly. You know, no convertibles for M cars. We were just inside and they were just telling us how this car literally just sold. So that's kind of crazy. This car already played at auction, already sold. So some, some lucky guys will be coming up and picking up this E30 M3 here pretty soon. And the damage on that was very minor. It was really just a re-rent hit. Uh, these cars are still being posted. I don't know if all of them are listed just yet. They will be listed at IA's website here pretty soon, if not already listed. And uh, yeah, these are pretty insane. So for those of you guys who are looking for an exotic car or just a beautiful electric car, this is probably as best as an electric car could possibly get. Uh, again, they have everything here at IA which is pretty crazy. So now that we just saw all of that, I am very, very excited to pick up my own car, our first Porsche here on the YouTube channel. Uh, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get her picked up. I like <laughs> It does look pretty good. Well, look at the door. I got so lucky on the door. Just Jeez. scratches. Look at the hood. Is the hood good? The hood's perfect. That was good. Save the <laughs> money right there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So checking out the frame rail. It looks like frame it's fine, rail? to be honest. I don't know. If you ask me, this looks promising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, interior doesn't look too bad. We got the key in the ignition. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Bro. Look at the Porsche key, sheesh. First Porsche on the channel. We're gonna make this thing absolutely insane. Just stay tuned, but, oh, the black, bro. It looks good. It's really hit. It's good really decision. hit. Good decision, good decision. All right, man. Let's go ahead and get her strapped up and uh, take her home. We got a six hour, six and a half hour drive. Six and a half hour drive. All right, let's do it. So guys, everything is loaded up. We're gonna head back to Sacramento right now and uh, unload it. I'm super excited for it. This whole six hour journey, you guys don't wanna see that, right? <laughs> Probably not. So we'll catch you guys then. So guys, we're officially back at the shop and it has been a few days since we actually got the car ride over here. Uh, we did actually get her started and she did drive here 
but she didn't last long. So we'll, we, we'll get into all that here in a little bit, but the car did make it. The car is chilling right here. It's got every light on the dash you could possibly think about. That shouldn't be an issue. I hope. That being said, we're looking at the car right now, guys, for the first time. Not for the first time, but for the first time for you guys. And uh, this thing, honestly, is such a beaut. Looking in the interior, honestly, looking at that steering wheel, it's pretty dated. There's a few things in this interior that's a little dated for me, just because you guys already know. We've been doing BMW stuff. We've been doing a lot of modifications the past couple of years, and that steering wheel is just not cutting it. Some of the interior pieces are just not cutting it for me, but this car, in terms of quality, is there. Bro, Jonathan. It's a phenomenal car. <laughs> it's a phenomenal car. Like it, it, this is what's crazy about this car is that this is a base, not the base Cayman, it's the Cayman S, but like this is the entry level sports car. And this thing is a whole lot of car for the money in terms of sound, in terms of uh, the quality, uh, fit and finish of everything. And honestly, this car, I never really see it on the road. I see a lot more BMWs, a lot more M3s on the road than I do see a normal entry level Porsche on the road. So this can be pretty exciting. Transforming this to be the ultimate Porsche. My first Porsche, and it's gonna be the ultimate Porsche. I'm very excited for this build. Before actually getting into the build, I wanna just go ahead and just do a walk around and show you guys the damage real quick. Cause I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Noor, uh, is there frame damage here? Is this gonna be a, uh, is this a project you can handle? And uh, I got some good news and some bad news. So the bad news is uh, these parts are no joke. Um, they're literally, even though it is an entry level Porsche, the parts are the same prices as the R8 and the same prices as like a G80 M3. Absolutely astronomical. What you guys see right over here, this radiator, this fan, and this uh, AC condenser, this little section right over here is going for about 1500 bucks on eBay. That is insane. That is pretty much the same price, if not more than the R8. And again, this is an entry level Porsche, but I mean, it's justifiable because just look at this key, man. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> It does crazy. look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that is honestly the coolest key I've ever had. A lot of BMWs, they just don't make keys like they used to. Um, I noticed with like the new BMWs, like unless you get the top tier, best of the best, you're not gonna get a different key. And that kind of bugs me. The entry level Porsche has this beautiful slick looking key that literally is the shape of a car and just looks so, so, so good. So uh, yeah, because of this, that is justifiable. First things first, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Uh, it was a little bit of a mission to pop this hood. Yeah, originally. Uh, because what's weird is to, to get this hood open, you have to go inside the car and jump the car from inside the car. It's so bizarre. It was so bizarre, So, but it worked. And we got to the front, and if you guys open up the front real quick, as, as, as bad as this looks, that looks fantastic. Looks pretty mint. Look at that. Like literally, this is perfect down here. Um, the plastics are honestly all sitting perfectly. This thing has a little bit of a crease on it. I'm sure we can uh, uh, buff that out. Uh, there was the huge cowl piece right over there sitting on the side of the car. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is chilling right over there. Perfect. Literally when I opened up this thing, it was perfect. And it still is perfect. Very, very, very happy to see that. The battery is literally right there. Honestly, really easy to swap out. Unlike the R8. The R8, if you want to swap the battery, you have to remove the entire tub. And that was a mission in itself. Thankfully, that battery is just a normal battery. I think that battery is like 200 bucks from Costco with a three year warranty. So you already know where I'm going. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good deal on a battery. This battery is completely shot. That's why I want to go ahead and get start up the car for you guys. But it literally took two jump packs, a whole lot of manpower just to get the car started. And when it was started, it only lasted for like 15 seconds at a time. And then we had to charge the jump pack for six hours. It was very unproductive, but we did what we had to do. But yeah, looking around over here, um, I mean, I don't really know. We haven't really tore this thing apart just yet. Looking right over here, you guys can see the crash bar is slightly, you know, hit right there. I don't know if this kind of crimpled and buckled this way. We don't know yet. Uh, the foam is a little bit damaged, nothing too crazy. Um, looking in here, I'm not seeing any catastrophic uh, frame damage or anything like that. There is a metal bracket that looks like it was welded on the car that did snap off. Hopefully that is not that big of a deal. Some people are actually telling me that the frame on this car is aluminum. Yeah, I think so. Let's test that theory. Oh, it's aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hope to God nothing's bent. <laughs> because the last time I had aluminum car with a bent frame, which was the i3, that car was just not worth it. I called the, the frame guy and he wanted like five grand to get some work done. This car probably be worth it, but it'd be really, really bad. Let's hope. So mm -hmm. hopefully the next oh, video we're gonna go ahead and do and tear down this entire front end or this entire section. Actually, we gotta tear the front bumper off anyways and just look at inspect the front end of the car. Hopefully everything is great in the Navy. Um, you guys saw the wheel, it was kind of dangling. So hopefully like the 335 IS, the wheel did not get pushed into the frame and bent the frame and cause any major issues. As of right now, looking in there, it looks pretty good. So again, we won't know till the next day that we actually tear this thing apart. Uh, we have a few little plastic things missing. If you put this right back up and put some uh, zip ties, 
It's good as new. It's good as new. <laughs> Coming around to the interior, we have every airbag deployed. We got the steering wheel, the knee, the dashboard, the other knee. Um, each airbag is an arm and a leg, but uh, it is what it is. You got to pay to play. The steering wheel, like I said earlier, we got to swap that out. The dashboard, I plan on doing a retrofit. The seats, retrofit, steering wheel, retrofit. We're going to have so many sick things for this car. This thing is dangling. Unfortunately, the windshield is cracked as well. But other than that, this car is absolutely mint. And actually, one of the main reasons I bought it is because it was on Bring a Trailer. More to come on that. So just real quick, guys, I found this, uh, when I ran the VIN number on this car, typically you want to run a VIN number of any car you're buying from auction to see if there's any past history of the car being sold, whether that's an auction, whether that's um, in person or a website or whatever. Typically, I look out for photos uh, of people doctoring up a car and then relisting at auction. You can see the previous auction of how badly damaged it was before they relisted it. Anyways, I threw the VIN number on this car on Google and I was surprised to see that this car actually sold on Bring a Trailer for $50,000 two years ago, about a year and a couple months. Uh, and it was an absolutely immaculate condition. The previous owner took really good care of this car. The entire car is clear broad. Uh, checking out the interior, I'm just gonna scroll through real quick. Undercarriage is impeccable, no oil leaks. Dude, look at all those pictures. Look at all, yeah, but they oh so detailed, bro. Just, just quickly click through them all. Yeah, so detailed, bro. The whole front end is clear broad, the rear end is clear broad. I think the only thing that's not clear broad is the doors. You can even tell right here on the photos. I, look, I don't know if you guys can see that line. Yeah, there's a little bit of clear bra line. Yeah, on the bumpers, I saw it even on the, the side skirts, like everything. Uh, just very well taken. Look at the paint, bro. Ooh, look at that. I want to see that go up. That Ooh, looks, looks like sick. pretty sick. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, let's just go ahead. It's a Cayman S, so that's pretty sick. So, 100 and, bro, 105 photos. Check out this interior. That's crazy. Immaculate. So very mint interior. Um, so again, when I saw this car and the condition it was in, I was able to actually go very in depth on this car. So I bid according to that, knowing the history of this car, I was like, you know what? I'm willing to bid a little bit more, but we still ended up getting it for a really good deal at IEA. So again, super happy with that. There's a bunch of service documents, it had two keys, all this stuff was right there with the car. Again, look at all the documents. That's like, pretty clean. That's clean, that's bro. So it's a very good base platform for where I'm trying to go. In terms of reliability and maintenance, we're there. Right there. That's so true. now it's just pure upgrades. That's you know true. What I'm talking about. Let's get to it. <laughs> Bro, looks amazing. I love this center exit exhaust. That it's looks sick. like something like straight out of a supercar. So that looks super sick. Uh, we haven't got power to the trunk because again, the battery is so, so, so shot. We have to figure out what's going on in the trunk. Um, with crazy story, actually, we were driving this car back and uh, we were being followed the entire drive back. You remember Jonathan? Air tag? Oh shoot. He was looking at me, he's like, I don't get it. I don't remember, yeah, that's Bro, right. So literally we're driving, and then we get a notification on our phone saying, hey, you're being tracked. And me and Jonathan are like looking at each other. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> like, like what? Like, what's going on? So then we check on our phones, and it said, since the yard, there were uh, something's been following us, and we're like, originally I was thinking, I was like, did somebody put an air tag on our truck? And I was like, oh wait, no, we have a new car in the back. So I think somebody put an air tag in this to make sure no one ever steals it. Long story short, the air tag's still in the car, and it was tracing us, and we got super scared, but I think it's somewhere in the trunk, and I want to get that thing out and just do what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, honestly guys, the damage is not too bad, but everything that's getting replaced is getting upgraded and everything that's not been damaged is still getting upgraded. This thing is gonna get absolutely everything upgraded. The wheels, guys, oh my Lord, bro, just, what is that, bro? It's pretty basic. <laughs> it's pretty basic, man. I mean, we're gonna have to do something way nicer than that. Uh, wheels, tires, suspension, everything. Guys, the plan for this car is to make a 435. Remember that gold 435, that, that, that liquid copper one? Uh -huh. It's gonna be better than that. Okay. Mark my words, guys. I'm I, have, I have something pretty sick coming for this car. So Jotha was just telling me behind the camera, he's like, Nort, you gotta start it up for them. He did get the car, you have to start it up. You, you didn't show the part of it coming inside the garage. So we're gonna go ahead and try to jump it. Actually, we just got a brand new jump pack. We did. So actually, let's test that let's jump test pack. Let's test it, yeah. So <laughs> we'll test the jump pack, get it started so you guys can hear it. Let's go ahead, uh, jump her, and uh, get her started. First time using this jump pack. Literally brand new. It's literally brand new. A lot of warranty, because they always go bad. Jump they packs, for some bad. reason, always go bad. Put that right on there. Ooh, Ooh you her heard power, that. Her you power, her power. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead, hop in. You should start up, ready for the door? I know, we gotta, we gotta make sure we don't. Oh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> we do what we can. All right, All oh, right you ready? Yeah. Oh, bro, look at this. Show them that. I don't know if they can. Bro, guys, this is not a GT4. This is not a GT3. This is nothing absolutely crazy, but for some reason, it's so sick. It's satisfying. I don't look, know. Look where we put the key, bro. The key is on the left side, too. It's right over here. 
Oh. See what I mean? All right, guys, he has to give it a few revs just to keep it alive. Otherwise, it's going to die. But go ahead and start it up. Oh, it's so dead. Oh, it's so but they heard it. They heard it, though. They, they heard it. It sounds good. Uh, <laughs> that battery's so shot. It's so shot. I don't know. The thing is, the car starts. So is it a pyro fuse? It might be a and then we revved fuse. it a few times. It kind of stayed alive. But... Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on right now, but long story short, that battery needs replacing regardless. So we'll definitely, definitely do that in the next video. Um, but uh, you guys heard it. Sounds pretty good stock. It does. Definitely needs an exhaust though. It will. <laughs> it will It'll get it. It'll get it. So yeah, I wish I was able to run the car for a little bit longer, give you guys some proper revs, but hopefully in the next video, guys, we can get a new battery in here. We can actually open the trunk, give you guys some revs. Uh, obviously, we want to make sure we get all the cooling systems and everything sorted so we can properly drive it and do all that and rev it properly. Before I end this video, I just want to give a huge special shout out to IA. They made the transaction, the whole process, very, very, very easy. I absolutely love their locations. I absolutely love bidding on their websites. Honestly, guys, I found testing my luck buying cars through IA has been honestly a whole lot easier. I get cars for more affordable, and uh, I love the fact that my best thing about IA that I absolutely love is that they actually have a part on all their listings. You can watch the engine running. If it says run and drive, there's a video of the engine running and you can actually hear. So the nice thing about IA, again, they have videos. They actually put cameras in the interior. You can view the whole interior. They put cameras in the exterior. You can view the whole exterior uh, engine videos. They're very, very, very detailed with their listings. Um, and again, I feel like the cars just go for a lot cheaper on there. Um, and that's why I've been buying from them for a long time now. So shout out to them for actually partnering up with us. Uh, it means the absolute world. Definitely buying more cars from IA, but this one, again, Again, it's just gonna. I know Jonathan wants a Porsche now. Yeah, I want a Porsche. <laughs> I'm guys, gonna have to go through IA. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's next level. So, if you guys are looking for your own rebuild, make sure to check out IA again, link down below. But that being said, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Again, I am super excited. I'm gonna go ahead, start ordering parts that I can visually see, like the cooler. Definitely needs a fender. I'm gonna order a headlight, front bumper, upgraded front bumper, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna start ordering some things today. And then, uh, obviously, when we start doing the teardown, figure out everything else this car needs. Uh, but without further ado, it's gonna have to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.